Hi techies, in this video I am going to cover two more Informatica Power Center interview questions which are very very important for experienced people who is going to attend the Informatica Power Center interview because these type of questions interview asks when he wants to complete the interview within four to five minutes because of his having other tasks. So that time you have to answer these type of questions otherwise you are out of the interview. The questions which I am going to cover in this video are what are the output files that the power center server generates when running a session and also what is an external loader. These two questions I am pretty sure most of the experienced persons also don't know the answer. If they know also half is correct. Let's go to the answers. For the first question what are the output files that the power center server generates when running a session or first one is power center server log, second one is session log file, third one is session detail file, fourth one is performance detail file and the fifth one is reject file, sixth one is control file, seventh one is post session email, eighth one is indicator file, ninth one is output file and tenth one is catchy file. These are the files Informatica Power Center server going to generate when you run a session. So I'm going to explain all these files one by one. The first one is Power Center server log. Informatica Power Center server is going to create this log on Unix or Linux environment for all status and error messages and this log will have default name as pm.server.log and it also creates an error log for error messages and these files are going to create in Informatica home directory. The next one is session log file. I think every Informatica developer knows about this file because when we run a session if it gets failed first we will check this session log for an error. So I think everybody knows but still I'm gonna give few more details about this file. So power center server creates this session log for each session. It will have initialization process and creation of SQL commands for reader and writer threads and also if any errors encountered that error details and also load summary. The amount of details in session log file depends on the tracing level which we set in the session properties. If suppose you selected verbose mode instead of normal mode as a tracing level, the session log file size is going to increase because Informatica server is going to record all the details of the each and every record which passes through the transformation. All the detailings it's going to give for each and every record. So that time the session log file size is going to increase and the memory consumption is going to increase. If your code is in running in production, it is not recommended to keep tracing level as verbose because it, it will consume the memory more. Uh, so whenever you are doing some debugging, that time only you can set this property as verbose and uh, remaining time you can keep it as a normal mode only. And uh, about these detailings, like uh, what are the tracing levels we have in the Informatica and all, I already explained these things in normalizer video. So if you wanna uh, check that video, I will give that link in the description. Just go and check. The third one is session detail file. This file contains the low statistics of each and every target in the mapping. You can see this file when you double click on this session in monitor window. So in this file you will see what is the table name and how many number of rows it's written or rejected. All this type of session information you will see in the session detail file. The fourth one is performance detail file. 
as the name indicates it's just having the performance details of this session this file will generate when we required performance improvement that time will generate this performance detail file to see where we are getting performance issues and to generate this file the performance detail option in the session property sheet has to be selected the fifth one is reject file normally we call it as bad file this file contains the rows of data that the writer does not write to the targets which means it contains all rejected records of target load to trace out any data issues this file is very helpful and sometimes business wants to know what are the rejected rejected records because they want to check there and whether they inserted good records or bad records so that time this file is very helpful to list out what are the rejected records in day to day the next one is control file so power center server going to create this control file when we use an external loader in our session before going to know about this control file you have to know what is meant by an external loader some of the databases like uh, oracle ibm db2 sybase iq or terra data this type of uh, databases is having their own external loaders to load the session target files into their respective databases external loaders can increase the session performance by loading the information directly from a file or pipe instead of running the sql commands to insert the same data into the database so if our target table is belongs to either ibm db2 or oracle or sybase iq or terra data then you you can configure this type of external loaders to load the data directly from a file so it will increase the performance of our session and suppose in one mapping i have two targets which are belongs to the two different database databases like one table is existed in ibm tb2 and another table is existed in the oracle so to improve the performance i can create two external loader connections and i can use these two external loader connections in my session so there is no there is no problem when we use multiple external loaders within one session now let's come to the control file so when this control file is going to generate whenever we use external loader in our session while running this session informatica power center server is going to create one control file and as well as one target file because this target file is going to load directly to their databases using external loader and this control file contains the information about the target file such as what is the data format and loading instructions for the external loader the next one is post session email post session email automatically communicates information about the session like success or failure to the designated recipients so there are two messages going to be generated one is when session is completed successfully and second one is for the failure the next file is indicator file when we use a flat file as a target then power center server can be configured to create an indicator file so for each and every row the indicator file contains a number to indicate whether the row was marked for an insert or update or delete or reject so the action it's going to be marked in that indicator file with numbers the next one is output file so if you are, if you are going to load the data into a file our target is a file 
when we use the flat fail connection in our target the power center server going to create this file based on the file properties entered in the session property sheet so this output file we can generate in two formats one is delimited format or we can generate in fixed width format and also we can generate this output file either in a static way or in dynamically the next one is cache files when the power center server creates memory cache it also creates the cache files the power center server creates index and data cache but the transformations like aggregator joiner rank lookup and sorted transformations these are the transformations in informatica uses the cache files remember this is very important interview question they will ask like what are the transformations uses the cache files so we have to answer aggregator joiner rank lookup and sorter